Hey guys, it is me, uh, Free Vanity. Um, I know it's been a minute since I posted a video, but long story short, my camera broke and I haven't been able to replace it, so I'm just trying to do this really quickly on my phone. Um, influencers sent me the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Foundation uh, to do a free review and basically just test out the product for a couple of weeks and uh you know just to see if it lives up to the claims and my honest opinion about this foundation is that i do not like it um one it the, the biggest claim on the foundation is that it's supposed to improve the skin it did nothing for my skin um no improvements if anything i ended up with a couple of breakouts the very first week of wearing the foundation um the second thing that i did not like was that Influencer and Maybelline never asked me for my shade. Um, the shade that they just randomly sent me was number 90, Warm Honey. And in the Fit Me, I wear 355 Coconut. I usually wear Coconut um, or Cappuccino in most shade, in most drugstore foundation shades. Um, so yeah, this foundation did not match me, but I wore it in the house anyway, just to give it a go. I couldn't, there was no way for me to wear this out. I even mixed it with my custom cover drops and it did deepen up the color, but I was not about to be doing that for three weeks because custom cover drops are not cheap. Anyway, um, I don't like this foundation. I don't like how it goes on initially. Um, it doesn't go on smoothly and as easily as the Fit Me does. Um, and I, I just, I don't like the way it looks. It's just sitting on top of the skin. It doesn't ever really look like it blends into the skin. Not the way other Maybelline foundations do. I mean, after about maybe the two hour mark. I started to get a little bit oily and then as the foundation wore on my face I think it got better and then it got worse so to, to clarify when I put it on initially it wasn't great I wasn't in love with it after two hours it started to get oily I blot it and it was fine I wore it a little bit longer and it started to look better the longer I wore it. And then around the five hour mark, it started to break apart. And so I had to take the foundation off on average around the five hour mark. So it's not very long wearing. Um, I would not recommend this foundation. I know that I've seen a bunch of mixed reviews on it I've seen some people love it I think it's one of those things that if you love it you're you love it and if you don't love it you hate it there's no in between it's it's just that simple it's not a great foundation um I do love Maybelline as a brand as you can see I have a plethora of their lipsticks and in my makeup drawer I have a bunch of other Maybelline foundation and fit me powders and things of that sort you know and the baby skin primer there so I do love Maybelline as a brand I just did not love this foundation I would highly recommend that you get the fit me foundation instead and just rock with this because this foundation is tried and true and it it gives me no problems so and you can see here the shade the difference between the shades i don't know i really wish that they messaged me or even went through my profile to see you know what kind of shade i might i might have been but they just randomly sent me this one anyhow um, that's it. This is just go this is just a quick review. Um, and I hope that this video goes up without any problems because if it does, I will try to record short videos on my phone more often. But alright guys, thank you for watching and yeah, I hope to see you or speak with you very soon.